How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just... I... Can you... <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. All right, I think those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen, follow me. We'll follow them, nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on! Apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here.
So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay Be here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose... If I lose Bessie, I lose everything! Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them? Come on! Ah! We need to get past these sons of bitches! You stay the hell! Back! Sam, look out! We got visitors! The camp's up this way. Come on.
Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down! Goddamn army of these bastards! How much is Sean's bounty? We should turn him in ourselves. Still time! Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Yeah. Easy there. Missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. But <clears throat> I'm back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have you to rip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can Welcome I? Welcome back, Sean. Mind if I join you fine folks? I suppose. I know you won, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. So, you didn't need now. much excuse. Come on. Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. <laughs> and I'm He'll sure be you will. Now, I bet. Oh, Listen, my friend. 
He's been Do you a know lot. the Louisville lady? I thought lady? you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. Something a little more civil. Something I will never forget. That's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you never need one of those, Uncle. Between a sheep, I didn't think we was going and to see you. A, a sheep and, and a man. Then you, you, well, you, that, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words. All of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. I am ready to let loose tonight. Who been too long? You're always ready to let loose, Martian. Well, life's too short. <laughs> I take a raise up. Thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster.
Mr. Morgan. My dear. Well, thank you, sir. But of course. Settle back in. I am back. I am back. <laughs> you crazy Irish bastard. Wasn't much of a party for your return, Marston. So let's celebrate now. Ha! Already stealing Sean's moment.
You okay, Jose? Well done, Arthur. Oh, it wasn't just me. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. You all right? Yeah, it's good to have him back. Let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. Some even bigger. <laughs> we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and okay. as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. <sighs> Uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or... Uh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, uh, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. <laughs> Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <sighs> You're not. Everyone. Oh, oh. You're going? <laughs> Guess I'll see you in the morning then. Keep playful. your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. This should be some real good eating. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, maybe not for a while. Like the waves on the Bay of Biscay. I began to tumble and roar. Hey, Arthur. My face is red like a lobster. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. 
That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Mrs. That Adam. last slug of whiskey was a mistake. Hey, if you ain't one of Con's boys, you're not welcome here. Yeah. Just leave him. I think he shot his pants. Easy now. Was you?
Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Mr. Bell from a hanging? I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. Always do. Yes, I'm good at that. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you.
What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. On tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Come on, faster. You see that deer? Looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder. And bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. You feel a hard tug. That's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. Ah, damn it. Didn't get him. Uncle Arthur! I think you've got a bite. Look! Whoop, think I got one. Is it a big one? See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? 
I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Got a stick at things, Jack. I know. I'm gonna try my luck over there. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just. Sit and wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. Pull him in. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is clearly the spot for bluegill. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. 
Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Known. Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. Them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dude? <laughs>
Bye. 